Hello! So we are, um, we're TF2 gameplay commentary again. I'm Harry, and I'm playing Demo Man with the frying pan, and he holds a frying pan so badly after the, um, all-class frying pan update. And as much as I love that they gave the frying pan to the scout, it kind of makes me mad that they made him hold the frying pan really dummy. It's like his pinky out, it's like he's being all, all proper with a frying pan, which I mean, you know, you don't really have to be proper with a frying pan, you're not drinking tea from it. That'd be cool, though. Drink, drinking tea from frying pans. So, obviously, I'm sticking up doors or a payload map. I'm playing Demo Man. I'm putting stickies, um everywhere right there i mean they, they can all see them pretty plainly i don't know i don't know what the optimal sticky location for badlands is hi so yeah this is the very beginning of the server as you can see we have zero points yeah badlands what i don't know what you're supposed to be doing with the demo man like oh, there's a, there's something you're supposed to do all, always whether it's a 5 cp you're supposed to do this rollout whether it's payload you're supposed to sticky these doors the demo man is very pre um pre game start combat and enhanced combat Engage, that's the word I was looking for, engage. Anyway, enough of my ramblings, things about to start. I'm going to be spamming pipes down there, I didn't see a sniper or anything. The heavy walks out, so I decided to detonate, and I ended up getting an NG carrying a gun. Which is nice, you know. It means he built it up in spawn, I think, which is weird. See a spy coming at me in the form of a scout. So I'm lobbing nades at him. None of them connect, he probably went somewhere else. This guy is already behind us. Don't know what he did, maybe he ran, probably ran through the tunnel, actually. First thing, he's on the health pack, because that's where I thought he'd be going, but he doesn't go there. I, how is that guy still alive? I don't know. Anyway, we have a soldier medic combo up top. There's that spy scout again. So they're all running around up top. I, I'm trying to I have a medic now, which is nice, but I'm just trying to spam them out, you know. Just throw stickies out there. Medic's like crouching. I don't know what that medic's doing, man. He's um he's not medicing right, that's for sure. Thank God it only takes one pipe to destroy a mini sentry. And then I kill myself on a pyro, and my medic luckily kills it next. And that, is that a spy scout? I don't know. Anyway, we have a nice tellies right here. That's such an annoying teleporter. Especially when you're trying to push this point. They're about to cap this, so I decided to run in here. Stick you up from here, because I know people will be running up here. This is the first thing I always do when that door opens on bad water, because I hate their stupid... That's obviously a spy. I saw him uncloakify, so I, I pop him, pop his dead ringer off. This guy's mini centering, so I'm sticking, you know. Every day I'm sticking, and then I'm just I'm just spamming spamming little stickies down. Just throw sticky after sticky after sticky down to this doorway. As long as there are people there, my stickies are going to be there. Heavy Medic combo, a great thing to do against Ubers, to throw stickies at their feet, wait for them to undo and then blow them up, so then get that Medic, I think I don't assist on him though. So that's a crit, so I want to I wanna lure somebody into my crit sticky, my, my cricky, if you will. Crikey! Anyway, there's a spy shooting at him, but he's just running away, so I call it out because he's probably going to be coming up the stairway behind us. And so I caught out spy coming up top, and then it turns out there's a spy here, another spy, that was coming up top, so I ended up looking pretty smart. And then I get sticky to death by down man. Stupid sticky spamming down, it's not fair. No, I'm, I don't really think there's such a thing as sticky spamming. I mean, you shoot stickies and you blow them up, it's how you, you play, play the game. It's really hard to spam stickies. And what you can spam is the Huntsman, but more on that later when I play Huntsman, which is gonna be rare because I don't like sniper. Well I do, but I don't whatever. I'm playing no man, we're not gonna be talking about anything else. So we are charging Ubers as a scout there decided to run past me instead of shooting me in the back though. I'm gonna take it maybe two to three shots to kill me because I'm completely overhealed or at least it used to be. That guy's running out again at, at me again with his um his um floggy while he has Phlogistonator. So I'm running away because he killed me before so I'm, I'm real scared of that guy now. So here's to see this guy he looks like he's fighting someone so I, I'm on the lookout for enemies. And what the god they took our roof? We can just take my roof. I feel really bad about this because that guy got the achievement conspicuous consumption for eating lots of sandwiches right as he ate a sandwich that would end up killing him instead of saving his life. So I've actually felt really bad to kill a heavy while eating a sandwich. You don't know true um, remorse and badness feeling until you've killed a fat dude while he was eating a sandwich. This makes you feel terrible. You know, you knew he was enjoying the sandwich and then you kill him. It's like you, you really ruined that fat guy's day. I feel sad. And then I get shot in the back by a scout. By Senor Buttcat, so that guy was pretty mean. So the, I might have cut out a life here. I don't know, but we're on our last. We're not even on our last. We're on our back spawn. They took that point. They're pushing up to here, which this is one of the best points in the game, in my opinion. I absolutely love defending the fourth point on Bad Water. It's incredibly fun. You have all these different ways. It's, of course, it's brilliant for spies. One of the best spy points in the whole game. And that guy's running there. I'm just waiting for somebody to run through my door. I, I, I was pretty sure he's a spy, so I'm, I'm shooting things around looking for the spy nest. There he is. Oh, there he is. Can we get him? Can we get him? Yes, we can not. No. We're going to get face stabbed instead by another spy that happened to be at the same there at the same time. So now I know they're running two spies. Of course, I already knew that from that, um, that, that roof debacle that we encountered earlier. Um, the Devil Man, the case of the missing spy. He's going to be the new Nancy Drew. It's going to be fantastic. But anyway, Stellman's up there. I'm at 24 health because he sniped me with a pipe. 
pipe, snipe pipe, spiped, spiped. Ah, uh, so he's all he's all covered in pee, so I'm just gonna try and blow him up with my stickies. Yeah, I get the blow up with the stickies, they're mini crits, you know, they can do a lot of damage, it take like maybe three to four stickies to kill a heavy, it's pretty crazy. Uh, heavies have so much health, it's pretty pretty crazy. Like I said before, actually I already I already went over that fact. But anyway, I'm lobbing stickies. I love doing that. Just hide below the bridge and shoot stickies above there. You get tons of kills. That is, there are actually people there to kill. Obvious dead ringer decided to obviously dead ring for a little while. Um, Pyro phlogistonators me to death, which is sad. I get phlogistonator a good amount in this video. You know, I demo man. I don't really have many, many short range capabilities. I miss the sticky jump and then fall damage and can't jump over the rail. That was a really, really poor season. I mean, this taunt, like this, the taunt with the medic thing, that heals a really good amount. Like. It's uh, honestly, at some points, it's probably better to do the taunt than individually heal each dude. It's crazy, and that fly, that fly, yeah, it was no, that spy, almost made me kill myself, which was sad. And look, I'm already back to full health. Like that guy, just, that taunt is actually damn powerful. So I'm coming up to this room. I'm gonna try and get the medic there, but he's running into his little house of protection. I saw a soldier down in the car. I'm just sticking that up, try and get the kill there. I do manage to blow him up, which is good. And see, there's a heavy medic, so I'm gonna start putting. Put Pipes when Sticky's on the card, hopefully to get enough to blow the heavy up in one go. So always that's the way you have to deal with heavy medics. That's why snipers and spies are their counters. You have to deal with, hit them, blow them up once, and then they die forever, which is the good thing. They're like diamonds. It's like their death because they're forever. So there's a sniper over here. This sniper and I are gonna that sniper, and then he's gonna have a, a, a buddy later. They're gonna have two snipers. We're having little battles because I want to kill people, and he doesn't want me to be killing his people. So he's gonna be trying to killing me to kill me because that'll stop him me from killing his people. That scout just goes flying into my camp. I wasn't expecting that awesome of a, um, a death from that guy. Wow, I'm I'm being I'm pushing my luck here. Obviously, that guy, if that guy was a good sniper. I'd be dead right now. Like I would've been dead maybe five or so minutes ago if that guy was a good sniper. But he's not, so I know I have freedom to pressure him a little bit harder than I was before. I have freedom to kind of get in his line of sight a little bit quicker and stay there for slightly longer to get more damage out. So that's a good thing to know. Always. Keep in mind the skill levels of your opponents so you can know what you, what you can do to them and get away with. This guy wants to melee, so I give him a taste of steel or whatever makes up skillets. Frying pans, more specifically. I don't actually know what a skillet is. I don't know what's a type of frying pan, maybe? I don't even know. Maybe a real skillet enthusiast would probably kill me for saying that. I was going to try and pipe the heavy. Luckily, my Frontier Justice buddy engineer has that for me. At least I'm assuming that was the guy who killed him. They Ubered, so I'm just going to be putting stickies down on the car to Pyro. Thankfully, he's air blasting them away. I'll wait for them to un-Uber so I can explode all my stickies and kill all of them, but they decided to kill themselves, I guess. I see a sniper down on that wall, so I'm watching now. I see a spy. I'm calling it out to my team. I'm, I was going to run in there for health, but of course, those doors don't open for a little while, and then I get man melter critted by the pyro again. So I'm just getting wrecked by lunar lunar pyros this round. Well, lunar pyro is the same dude over and over again. So now this is a new life. They've capped that point, obviously, and I'm sticking up the car trying to get rid of them because I have a nice little hole here. I can just sticky the car, wait for them to come down, and then make everything go explode, and then they go explode, which is great. See the medics, I'm gonna try and get him, and soldier, <laughs> get a really lucky crit there. That was really nice. And pretty lucky direct shot. Not that lucky, you know, I kind of knew what I was doing there, but the crit was probably the biggest part. I mean, 312 damage, that is a lot of damage. So he has the flog crits, 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 so I'm running away. Luckily, I think our sentry took him out there. See the medic again, I'm going to be trying to get this guy pretty hardcore. Heavy, I'm backing up the moment he spins up. But the thing with heavy is, you know, you can you can do whatever you want to them as long as they're just spinning up. Once he, once they get their gun out, whoop, you have to leave, which is why you have, it's nice to have little corners like this. This is a great place to put stickies. They don't know I'm mean, anywhere that's a corner. Once they round it, you just put stickies there, and then they all explode once they round the corner. Oh, God, where'd that guy come from? I don't know, but I'm going to shoot with my pipes. That's what I'm going to do all day, every day, shooting people with pipes. So I'm just spamming up into the map room just to discourage anyone who may or may not be there. See this guy going over there. Looks like our medic got him though. We have a fun battle medic. He's enjoying himself. Waiting for that guy. Boom. Waiting for him to walk onto my crit. If you get a crit sticky, you kind of get this little fluttery feeling inside. You're like, oh, I have to get somebody to walk on this. And luckily that guy did walk on that one. It made me really happy. So heavy spun up and then that I got assists with reflect crit pipe things. That was really nice. It kind of looks like I killed them because it was a pipe but then it turned out to be a reflect pipe and I didn't kill them. It was the pyro that killed them. In case, in case you're wondering how that worked, I, I'm here to clear things up for you. That's my job. I'm clearing up the kill feed. Oh yeah, that's that's the worst slogan ever. Anyway, I got a crit, which made me happy. <laughs> Killed him before he could Uber. I always love that when you see the medic. I kind of awkwardly stand in there with nobody Uber, but in the shiny blueness, you're like, yes, I did that to you. Revel in your shame. 
And I get another lucky crit. I got like three lucky crits and four. I, I think that's four crits, lucky crits in a row. I got the pipe and then the sticky and then the sticky and then the sticky. Yeah, four in a row. That was, I'm getting crits, crits up the butt today. It's nice. Let's me go on my little kill streaks. That's what the crits are for, right? The better you do, the more crits you get. The more streaks you go on, the more fun it is for you, I guess. Not for your opponents, but for you. I was, I, yeah, I listened to the, the dev commentary in TF2. Yeah, I do that. Anyway, I get piped to death, even though I'm being held, healed by a medic, so that's annoying, but you know. Let's see that scout. This guy was, I don't know if he was a spy or not. I'm going to have to judge his run speed again. Which now you can never know if they're spies or not, because... The scout runs real slow with his new his new gun. Oh yeah, this is pre Pyromania. All of this, so took the, the equalizer to be both halves. GRU doesn't make mini crits. Cozy campers unchanged. All that good stuff. Sticking up the cards, spamming some pipes up top. You know, I feel like this is going well. We have our sentries. There's five minutes left. Where did that? Where pyro man melter explosive detonator? Thank God that guy was there. That's pyros. Do do that. Blow people out when they're on fire. That's what you're supposed to do. Or man melter them out. I suppose. The man melter get multiple people at once? I don't know. He's doing air blast like three people at once. Like if he had taken the time to man melter that soldier and then man melter me, I would have been dead. Man melter, man melter, man melter. So that guy's obviously a spy. I decided to help him out by activating his dead ringer for him. Um, pyro just runs in and gets sentried to death. Which is always very satisfying to see a pyro just run blindly and sentried right in their fat, ugly, gas max encrusted face. So spamming, this is a great spot for a devil man. You, this is like a devil man's playground, you know, you just get to spam stickies up there forever and ever and ever. And people can't see you, and where'd that uber come from? Which I did watch it happen, but I didn't realize it'd be down here already. So, I, I, I explode my stickies and then launch my py the pyro right into my pipe there, which made me feel very good. I start pushing now, so now everything went from looking okay to looking bad. I think we still have one sentry, but then they just pop into their uber. This is how you win. You're like, oh, they have so many sentries, guys. This is so, so cheap, stupid sentry spammers. Like, seriously? Just get three medics, and then just all uber one after another, and then you win. That's, that's how TF2 works. It's a game about who has the more medics. Power. Well, at least on payload and things. And it's not even who has the more medics on payload. It's just, does the offensive team use medics generally, which is actually not the case most of the time. So now I have this horrible moment where I have to watch them push it in. I just have to, they made me watch. It's horrible. Anyway, this is a TF2 commentary. I was a devil man. I was on Badwater. It was pretty cool. Goodbye.